My family name is Broshe. In Russian, it's Shukin. And if Shukin, the Russian collector, collected French contemporary art at the end of the 19th, beginning of the 20th century, I'm as French collecting Russian contemporary art at the end of the 20th, beginning of the 21st century. In 2006, I bought my first painting by Valery Stark. It, I was his first collector, and this painting is called Spion. Spion means spy. I will explain to you why this painting is so important for me. The Russian collector Shukin met with Picasso thanks to an artist, Matisse. And I met Valery Stack also thanks to an artist, Alexei Kalima, in 2006. They used to be member of one group called Radek. We met in Moscow in the basement of a gallery called Francia, which was founded by Alexei Kalima. And there was an exhibition of paintings by Stack. Я познакомился с Пьером на своей выставке в 2006 году. Пьер пришел и купил у меня работу. То есть просто пришел, пришел и купил. The exhibition included portraits by French philosophers, contemporary philosophers, Derrida, Deleuze, Guattari. And there were also several big paintings. I immediately noticed one painting. It has been a long time since I haven't had such a powerful impression in front of a painting. Something like the Stendhal syndrome. Thanks God, I didn't lose consciousness, but it was really powerful, a really strong feeling. I think the first time I had such a feeling, it was in 1987 in Paris during the first exhibition of Jean-Michel Basquiat at the gallery Daniel Temple. I felt in love with that painting straight away. Everything looks very easy. We have three colors, black, white, and gray, and three themes. The skull, the word spy, and Moscow, 1981. The composition intrigued me, and I bought that painting straight away. It was absolutely a new visual language. And Stag said, I've already painted the painting. It's your job to understand. But in the gallery, the most important was the visual effect. It's only after that I decided to understand what was this painting about. Spion, там череп с костями, написано Spion 1981, насколько я помню. И 1981 это Гор, год, в который я родился. Я не, не уверен, что, что есть возможность объяснить э, произведение искусства, и тем более свое. Э, я думаю, что Пьер лучше с этим справится. It was immediately clear to me. Stack is a real demiurge artist. He's like a god. From darkness, he creates light and then something in between, the gray color. The use of the three colors, black, white, and gray, will characterize all the works by Valery Stack. I've noticed that artists often formulate their main conceptual directions at the very beginning of their career. And I will tell you now why the skull is so important for me. The skull is a very common image, and Stack will very often paint it. Already in the Middle Ages, the image of skull is used to frighten the enemies. And of course, the pirates will use it as well. In the 17th century, Dutch and French painters will address this topic. They will produce paintings called vanitas. Vanitas is a still life where you have a skull and different objects, books, music scores, flowers, candles, fruits, musical instruments. The skull is, of course, also in the art of Picasso, in the art of Dali, of Basquiat, and of course, of Damien Hirst. 
Today, it more relates to toxic or chemical dangers. There are a lot of graffitis with this theme, and of course, street artists will use it everywhere. But Stack is not a street artist. And moreover, the painting was hanging in an exhibition where we had portraits. It became clear to me that this painting was also a portrait, but without the flesh, just the skull. But a portrait of who? Of death? We remember that Basquiat very often represented himself as a skull. But why then the word spion, spy? Concerning the word spy, you can imagine easily that as a Frenchman living in Russia for already 30 years, I very often listen, Pierre, you must be a spy. And for that reason, this very painting was even more important for me. Stack very often mixes images and words from different languages, and they do not seem to have a relationship together. When Valery declared that he was Jew, I understood that he felt he could live everywhere because he could speak any language and talk to anybody. But I have the impression that the spy, it's not me, of course, as uh, once uh, Stark put it during a, a radio broadcast. Ну, француз живет в Москве, да, я не знаю почему, может быть, он шпион, что не исключено, конечно, но... But it was the artist himself, like this person who watches the world from the side, hidden, as a phantom. When I found out that Valery Stadt was born in Moscow in 1981, everything became completely clear. The painting was a self-portrait of Valery Stadt. Well, maybe put as a driver license where you have the portrait, the name, and date, and year of birth. And this painting, Spy, was just a continuation of the exhibition where you had other portraits of philosophers but with a completely new visual language. After 15 years, this painting still impresses me. It hangs right in front of me in my office, and I'm never tired of it. I'm sure it's one of the best works by Valery Stack. Pierre, действительly, one of my first collectioners. I'm honestly saying, well, one, that's the first collectioner who came and и просто просто купил э, мою работу пришел на выставку и купил работу потому что до этого такого не было до этого были какие-то такие продажи очень такие ну какие-то просто интеллигентские интеллигентско светские так так сказать типа о давай а ну давай я куплю у тебя эту работу ну давай а сколько она стоит ну 300 евро там И Пьер, первый, кто пришел и э, на выставке вот, прям вот купил работу. This moment when you acquire a new piece is for me always something similar to passion, similar to adrenaline. And you understand that very soon you can have in your collection a new piece, which eventually will become a piece of art in the history of art. A year later, the acquisition I organized a big exhibition in the Moscow Museum of Modern Art, and I showed this painting. It is very important for me to show the collection time by time, because I think it's very important to share this passion, the passion of collecting. By the way, Sergei Shukin, before the revolution in Russia, before 1970, very often opened the doors of his palace to show his new acquisitions. And many artists already in 1912, 1915, 1916, Russian artists, saw for the first time Picasso, Matisse, Gauguin, uh, Van Gogh, they saw that for the first time in a private collection. In 2015, at the exhibition in the Moscow Multimedia Art Museum, the director of the museum, Olga Slivlova, decided to put the spy at the very top of a sort of pyramid where there were eight or nine paintings by uh, Valery Stack. And it was clear that in this huge room at the best place in the corner, Stack 
was a fantastic artist. And in 2060, so that 10 years after I bought my first painting by Valery Stack, Valery was put in the list of the most influential Russian artists and the most important young artists by the Art Guild and by the Art Newspaper Russia. Насчет творчества не знаю, но и творчество в том числе, да, очень важную роль сыграл. То есть без Пьера никуда. Не было бы Пьера, не было бы Вичтака. In 2016, Valery Stack also had a fantastic retrospective at the Moscow Modern Art Museum. And as a collector, I'm always very proud when I understand that I was the first to notice an artist who, after 10 years, after 15 years, is becoming a famous artist and an artist who is recognized not only by the museums, but also by other collectors, by institutions. And I think this is the role of a collector, of a real collector, to help artists at their very beginning. And very often artists uh, tell me, and I think this is the most fantastic compliment I can get, artists say, thanks to you and thanks to the fact that you bought this piece at that time, you gave us first the understanding that we are artists and you gave us the possibility to go ahead. We have now about 15 pieces by Valery Stack and it makes no doubt that Valery Stack is a leading artist, Russian artist of the 21st century. The Russian collector Sukin was the first to collect and Matisse and Picasso with many paintings. And I'm very happy and very proud that I'm the first as French collector to have collected Valerie Stack. Thank you.